Hello everyone, we are the Detecting Smiths. Smiths. Right, guys we are here on my mother's property in um, I guess you could say South Wayne County and uh, we know this place here is pretty old uh, the house that's here on the property which I'll show you some pictures of it pretty quick or pretty soon um, the house was built we know in the late uh, 1800s at least the 1890s uh, so we, we've been detecting here a few times. We found some cool things. Uh, but I just dug this hole right here. And you can see this probably about six inches deep. And I, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like maybe, I don't know. Looks like maybe the butt off of a, an old knife or something. But even the inside of it looks like it's brass. It's all layered never seen anything like this if any of you guys know what this is uh how about dropping me a line in the comments if you've ever seen anything like this before all right guys we'll see you at the next good fire all right everybody we're right here in front of the old house so no house there okay okay's running the camera guys they're in the process of tearing down the old house but it was built like i said in uh the 1890s uh, it just got to where it was just too much to heat in the winter time and let these cars get by. There's a main, there's a highway right out here beside us and a lot of cars coming by about the time we start film. But uh, it's, the old house just got to where it was too much to heat during the winter time and too much to try to cool during the summertime. So they decided to tear it down and uh, once the guy finishes tearing it down, they're going to rebuild on the same spot. But right out here in the front yard, I just dug this. I have never seen anything like this in my life. And I've been around guns all my life. But that thing is probably about three quarters of an inch long. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know what that is. To begin with, I thought that was like a pistol cartridge. But it just dawned on me. That's what's left of a shotgun shell. It's an old Remington Express 410. I'll have to do some research on this and see how far back those things go. Did they make them out of paper back then, or did you think the plastic just rotted away? Surely not, huh? But that's cool. I'm going to hang on to it. We'll see you guys at the next hole. All right, guys. I got a about a 70, 76, 77 signal right here. And uh, it was showing only about four inches deep, but I'm going to say it was probably, I don't know, probably about probably about five inches deep. So it's pretty good, but I've re flipped it out and look right here what come out of this hole. Looks like, I mean, I don't know for sure or nothing, but it looks to me like it may be a piece of an old pocket watch that's torn all to pieces. I don't know. That's sure what it looks like. I'll clean it up a little bit later and see can't we get some writing or something off of it. Alright guys, we'll see y'all at the next hole. And I just dug this hole and I'm about to cry. I must have I must have hit it with my shovel. I can see right here this piece of the shot shell used to wrap around there like that I'm still going to keep it but this is a uh, Winchester Super Speed number 12 I don't think I have one of those yet but it's obviously it's old and it's made out of paper you can see the paper falling apart right there 
but I'm going to keep this and I'm going to put it in my display of shotgun shell head stamps because those are one of my favorite things to find guys and that one actually is uh, the top of it looks pretty good alright go me all right, we'll see you guys at the next uh, next good fire. All right, guys, can you see down in the hole right there? Whew. I was getting a high tone, but no VDI reading. It was showing it, uh, and then when I pinpointed, it showed about eight inches, but I still never got a VDI, and I was like, oh, this is a good sign. So I dug this out. We're still in the front yard of this house built in the 1890s, and I was raking around. I felt something, and I stopped. And let's see right here. Whoop, I missed it. This is a, some super sandy soil. If it's a penny and it being that deep, I just imagine it's going to be a weedy. And that's a weedy. See the one cent? Boy, it looks bad, too. Looks like somebody drug it down the hole. Oh, my goodness. Look at that date. Can you see that date? Um, I think that's 1918 wheat. That's a that's a hundred and one year old coin. You wait till mama sees this. <laughs> you wait till mama sees. I hope the back of it cleans up a little better. A 1918 y'all. They has got to be some silver coins out here somewhere. Wow. This is my oldest wheat to date that I can actually get a, a date off of. I've got one that I found. It was in a few videos back. might have been in our 100 giveaway video. One that I found at a ball field. I never could really get a date off of it. But I want to say it's going to be like a 1909. But I can't confirm it because it's in such bad shape. But y'all, that's plain as day right there. That's 1918. Go me. All right, all right, we'll see you guys at the next good fire. All right, guys, I was off, as you can tell here. There's the first plug, the second plug. I was getting another one of those really, really deep signals with no VDI, and uh, I found it down in there. I see nothing else, but you can see right there if it, it ain't sun, it's too sun, ain't too much. This is an old UMC company. New club number 12 with the star around the center. I think these, uh, these are predate, I want to say, 1911. I may be wrong, maybe 1930. I can't remember. Maybe they made them from 1911 to 1930. I'll have to go back and look. But, uh, this one's going to look really nice in my display case because I love old shotgun shell head stamps. All right, see you guys at the next hole. All right, guys, we're digging around this old stump here in the front yard. And I got another one of those deep signals with no VDI. And you know, I just had to dig it. And as I was reaching down in this sandy soil, if you can see it, I felt something. Let's get it out of there. Ooh, a baton. Oh, the soil is so sandy. It's like a two-piece button. Don't see any writings on the back of it. At least not yet. I've never seen one like this. It's just got a little concave dip in the front of it there. I'll have to get this thing cleaned up. And uh, see what it looks like. Super excited about that. There ought to be some real cool relics in this yard, guys. I uh, am looking forward to what it may bring. Alright, we'll see you guys at the next good find all right everybody i got a little like a nickel signal right here and i got a little 
a little boy looks like he'd been eating mud pies. <laughs> oh, he wants to try to pinpoint this signal. So, you ready? You ready, Gecko? Yeah. Excuse me? Yes, sir. All right. Where is it at? You think it's right there? Yes, I think. Hold on. Look, let me dig in case there's glass in there, okay? All right, use it again. All right, it's going to be right there somewhere. Do it again. Oh, did I rake it out? Come back here. Where did it go? I did. I raked it out. All right, here. Is that what that is? No. Hmm, stick it in my hand. Let's see if it's in there. All right, there it is. There it is, right there, friend. What is that? It's a rock. No. What is that, Gecko? I don't, I don't know. Hold, put it in my hand. That. Oh. Oh uh oh. That is a rimfire pistol cartridge. Mm. A it rifle cartridge. That's pretty cool, Gecko man. You found a good find. All right. Tell everybody bye, Gecko. Bye. All right, everybody. Uh, we're gonna try to film this wrap up if uh, I don't get stung by a, a wasp. One just flew by my head. Got. Uh, my head too. Yeah, Gecko and Shell Bell sitting here on the doorsteps of this old house from the 1890s. That's where we've been digging today, and we're gonna do a little bit of a wrap up. Let's we'll see what kind of cool stuff we got here, Gecko. What is that? Oh no. All right. Is this what Mama dug? That kind of looks like a lid off an old compact or something. Yeah, it did. Let me see what you got there. I know what that is. What is that? That's a, that's a nozzle off of an old water hose. I found that too. Mm, yeah, is that what you, that is what you found, isn't it? You just found that a few minutes ago. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That looks like a maybe a 32 rim fire. And JJ found this old 12 gauge shot shell. This 410 and this two piece button. Uh, I didn't see any markings or anything on it. Gecko's killing stink bugs up here and they ain't saying what's that smell. Uh, part of an old pocket watch. Then I found this thing. I, I just watch out, Gecko. Let me look at it first. I don't know what I this found is. This. Maybe if somebody could help me out with this. Yep, and found this. Uh-huh, yes. You're trying to help me out, ain't you, buddy? Let me see that. But that's a good find. Let's wait till last, okay? Found uh, a couple of old pennies, zinc pennies. I not, found this. not old pennies. Yeah, yeah, we found the button. We showed them that. We found this bead, a couple of 22 and uh, bullets, this, and too. some pieces. Yes. Then some pieces to a, uh, looks like the insert to a mason jar. But what Gecko's trying to show y'all is my find of the day. Uh, yeah, he found you see, it. that's a he wheat found penny. It too. Yeah, I did. This is a, a 1918 wheat penny. That's my uh, yeah, find of the I day. I don't know what is this. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's our wrap up. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, watching our videos. I don't know what is this. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And we look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. Tell everybody bye-bye and thanks for watching our videos. Bye.